Welcome to Elliptico's online support videos. This is Carrie, your service manager at Elliptico, and today we're going to change the oil in the 11 speed hub. I know a lot of you have been asking for this video, so finally got some time to do this. You're going to need a 3 millimeter Allen wrench and a rag for your tools. Okay, you should have your oil bleed kit, which would be an empty container along with a syringe and a hose that it has a threaded nut on it, as well as a 50 milliliter bottle of Shimano hub oil. If you have the roll off oil, that is fine too, but uh, I'm using the Shimano hub oil. So this will be the syringe, this is the hose with the little threaded piece. Again, you need a three mil Allen wrench. Um, I'm gonna be using some clean oil and then this is my waste oil. So first thing you want to do is locate the little oil port that is on your hub. It's got a little picture of an oil can and there's a little plug right there. That's your three mil. So we're going to go ahead and remove this plug. We're removing the plug. Once you get it loose enough, you can use your fingers as well. Okay. He's just a real little guy. And we're going to take our hose and we're going to thread it in. So just use your fingers there to kind of get this thing to thread in. Righty tighty lefty loosey. Mine's a little bit slick. Yours should not be as slick as mine. A little slippery there. Now that you have your hose threaded in, we're going to grab our syringe. Let's make sure the plunger is all the way down. The way this works is we're literally going to suck the oil out of the hub and then we're going to push oil into the hub. Pretty straightforward. So we're going to go ahead and attach the hose to the end of our syringe here. Now in theory we should actually let this sit for about 20 minutes or so and we want to make it sit so that it's uh, well, I'll just rotate this around, rotate it around. You want to make sure that your hose and your syringe are facing the ground so gravity can pull the oil and pull it in the bottom of the hub. So go ahead and let that sit for about 20 minutes or so. Make sure we get as much oil collected down there as we can. Okay, we've waited the 20 minutes, or in my case, an hour, and we're just gonna slowly start pulling on the plunger. And we're gonna start pulling the oil out. You can see it's coming down the hose there. And we're just going to slowly pull as much oil as we can out. Now, if you don't pull any oil out, that means you don't have any in there to pull. Uh, there's a start of 25 milliliters. You may not get all 25 out. That's not unusual. So don't worry if you don't pull a full 25 out. But keep slowly pulling on the plunger. We'll just suck that oil right out of there. Okay, so I've pulled about as much as I can. This isn't the most efficient way to do everything, but you can see I didn't get all that much oil out of this particular hub. Um, more like eight milliliters, uh, if that. So we're gonna go ahead and empty this. Now there's going to be some suction there, of course, because we've pulled all that out. So when you pull the hose, free of the syringe it's going to release some of that pressure so I pull that off there and I'm going to go ahead and dump it in my waste oil bin so I'm just gonna squirt that in there now if you think you still have some oil left to pull out you can go ahead and do the process again. Go ahead and connect your syringe. And then pull on the plunger. See if you have anything left in there. I don't really have anything left to pull. But I'm just going to give it the old college try. Make sure I got it all out. Which does not appear to be all that much oil. So this hub did not have much oil left. It's past its original break-in date, which is 630 miles on a new hub, and then about 2,700 to 3,000 miles thereafter. 
This oil is also pretty dirty. Uh, it's a little hard to see on camera, but it's pretty black in color. So it's a uh, pretty dirty. I'm gonna go ahead and empty this out. And now we're gonna want to fill about 20 to 25 milliliters. Now it's gonna depend on how much you pulled out. I'm gonna put a little bit more in, so I'm gonna put about 20, 21 milliliters in. If you didn't pull that much out, you don't wanna overfill it. So you don't wanna put more than 25 milliliters in because it will actually leak out of the seal. So before you put the new oil in, if you want, you can use your hose to collect the new oil. You also can blow out the hose by just unthreading it, stick your syringe in, pull your plunger back, and then push all of the oil out, any excess that's in the hose, into your waste oil. Not 100% necessary, but you can definitely do that and then thread this guy back in. I find that it's better to use the syringe and leave the hose connected when putting new oil in. So I just used my clean oil and my syringe, I just dumped the syringe in there and pulled up 21 milliliters. Put this into the hose and gently push the oil back into the hub. Pretty straightforward process, just takes a little bit of time. You wanna take your time, you don't need to rush this process. And while we're doing that, I'll just show you guys super quick this black plastic piece is called the chain guard. And then this is your actual dust cap. They call it a right hand dust cap, but this is your seal here. So this chain guard thing, if this pops off on your bikes is super not important for us, truthfully. So if it comes off, you can cut it off and leave it off. It is not related to the hub itself and seal or any sort of damage that way. So go ahead and Put all of that oil in there. A little bit of air bubble, that's not great, but. Let that sit. Take that air out of there. It's hard to get all of the oil back in all the way because of the pressure. So just do the best that you can to get as much of it in as you can without creating a whole thing of air going into the hub. You can also just leave the little excess oil that's in the hose, just leave it up and let a little bit of pressure off from the nut and it'll drain into the hub as well. Okay, I had let, I had unthreaded my hose a little bit uh, to get some of that oil out, a little bit leaked out. Uh, so I have a rag just cleaning that up there, made a little mess. I'm gonna go ahead and unthread all of that, remove the hose, have a rag, just make sure I clean up any waste there. We're good. We'll take our plug and our little three mil and we'll thread that little nut back in there. So long as you're doing your regular maintenance with the oil change, that's the most important part. That's going to keep your hub lasting a long time making sure that you do proper maintenance. That also includes making sure you replace your chain, do your chain tension, replace your sprocket, replace your chain ring as they wear over time, keep your tires properly inflated. And then when you're shifting, especially on the 11 speeds, I like to pause my pedal stroke before shifting a gear. So pedal, pedal, pause, shift. All of that goes into prolonging the life of your hub. 
you have any questions, give me a call or shoot me an email at service at elliptigo.com. Thanks so much.